The condition she had was primary sclerosis conjunctitis, and she was diagnosed at 18. It was a really, really serious condition. At that time, I didn't realise it could turn cancerous. And unfortunately for me, uh, you know, I lost the love of my life because of that condition. And once I got myself up, it was then about focusing about the foundation and how we could ensure that this tragic, sad event had some worth. The Elena Baltacher Foundation and her academy was something that she started up whilst she was still playing and she was so keen uh, well, to introduce as many young kids uh, into tennis um, as possible. Everybody was, who came into contact with Elena while she was alive could only have been touched by her passion for the sport. How much of that passion which she brought onto the court she brought and you know continues to bring to their foundation touching people's lives and giving opportunities to young children who wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity. Bally was visiting schools when she was competing when we were traveling around the world and every time we'd land at Gatwick or Heathrow it would be what school are we visiting next. She was a fighter and I think she saw these girls as individuals maybe who had to fight in their lives to get anywhere and some of these schools you know they were pretty pretty tough. I guess seeing uh, those girls who have been part of the foundation from a young age grow into these amazing young women who are able to talk about Bali and uh, you know still playing tennis and doing their bit to help the, the community as well. If Bali was around, she'd be really proud. After the lesson, they gave free players um, these letters to give to our parents to see if we wanted to play more tennis with the academy. I remember it very, very well. I remember Bao seeing her in the school. I remember Bao looking at Luke, just giving me that look with her lovely eyes. And because I used to be writing the names down and uh, we wrote her name down. She came to the first session and Bao said, this girl could be great. I played the grade one, the national event and I got to the final, came second and I was picked to play for Great Britain in Belgium. And that was a great achievement for me. It's been fantastic and really helpful that we've had people along the way like Nino and, and Elena and the Foundation um, because it's not just about financial support, it's about all the other things that are attached to it as well. I remember how supportive she was and she just made me believe in myself, have the confidence to play and yeah, I will never forget what she did for me. To take a, a girl that who Bally picked from a deprived school and then see her with a Great Britain International badge on her chest and still with the foundation, that's for me is real achievement.